Hi, this is Rachel. And this is Kendra. And you're watching This Week in TV. This week marks the beginning of November sweeps, so we've got the scheduling details, and then we'll talk about some surprises and disappointments of the new fall season. Kendra? Well, Rachel, on Monday, November sweeps begin with Katie Holmes guest starring as the slutty pumpkin on How I Met Your Mother, guest star Michael Norrie of Damages on House, plus Dancing with the Stars Halloween-themed episode and Breaking Bad's Dean Norris will guest star on Castle. On Tuesday, Glee, New Girl, and Raising Hope return from their hiatuses with my very favorite Glee Project winner, Damon McGinty, making his first appearance on Glee. Also on Tuesday, Brandy Norwood, who most of us just know as Brandy, will guest star on 90210, and Covert Affairs returns with new episodes on USA. On Wednesday, Modern Family guest stars include Leslie Mann, Chaz Palminteri, Jennifer Tilly, and Kevin Hart. On Happy Endings, Fred Savage and Brent Mestberger will appear as themselves and also directed the episode. Also, don't miss the Top Chef Texas premiere on Bravo at 10. On Thursday, Bones has its season premiere at 9 p.m. Burn Notice also returns to USA. Then on Sunday, November 6th, it's the debut of AMC's new western, Hell on Wheels. Will it be another Mad Men or Breaking Bad? We'll find out. Finally, Real Housewives of Atlanta kicks off its new season on Bravo. With the fall season well underway, it's time to discuss some of its surprises and disappointments. Kendra, always the positive one, will kick things off with pleasant surprises. My biggest pleasant surprises this fall are two new shows I plan to dislike, thinking they both look far too cheesy even for me, The CW's Heart of Dixie and ABC's Suburgatory. Both of these shows fall into the categories of cute small town or suburban shows, which I typically like, but both of these were advertised to look flat and cheesy instead of endearingly cute. But both ended up having a lot more heart and clever humor than I expected and have become a few of my favorites this fall. Heart of Dixie has finally given me a replacement for my old WB loves of Gilmore Girls and Everwood, and Suburgatory brings a perfect comedic twist to suburban life as I grew up, but doesn't make it qu seem quite as much of a bummer as ABC's The Middle does, though I love that one as well. These shows also both have fantastic leading ladies, with Rachel Bilson on Heart of Dixie and Jane Levy on Suburgatory. So Rachel, those are a few of my favorite surprises this fall season. What have been some disappointments for you? Well, Kendra, some fall shows are expected to be bad. Playboy Club, that's you. So when that crashed and burned, I wasn't too devastated. Far more disappointing are shows that we expected to be good and didn't live up to their hype. For me, this has included Sarah Michelle Gellar's return to TV and Ringer. I really wanted to love this one, but after the first few episodes, I quickly began to lose interest. Two Broke Girls has also been a huge disappointment to me. One of Fall's most hyped new comedies, while I enjoy the presence of stars Kat Dennings and Beth Bears, many of the jokes on this show have turned out to be terrible. This show is full of racial stereotypes and cheap humor. I'm still watching, but I found myself groaning far more than laughing. Well, that's it for this week. As usual, stay tuned to Sidewalk's YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter for more TV news and buzz. And we'll see you next week.